the elections really and what's going on right now is that it's about 120 days to count down and turning to the political scene now and it is a rare story out of there odm leader Raylo Dinga and deputy president william ruto have literally been forced indoors apparently by the party nominations headache after months of high energy campaigns and countrywide tours the odm leader and the deputy president have retreated to the boardrooms to attempt to resolve their respective myriad nomination challenges across different races and as Citizen TV's Sam Ogina reports, political parties are opting for boardroom deals in an attempt to avoid divisive primaries ahead of the August election. After months of high octane campaigns and countless public rallies across the country, it is back to the boardroom for the Azmi Olomoja presidential flag bearer, Raila Odinga, and his main challenger, Deputy President William Ruto of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. The two leaders have had an unusually quiet Monday away from the glare of the cameras, but that quiet may not be literal after all. Intense lobbying and backroom deal making is said to occupy the agenda of the two leaders and their political formations as they move to avoid what they fear to be potentially divisive party primaries. And the boardroom is producing some results. In Nairobi, Kenya Kwanza was able to hammer out a deal between Nairobi Senator Johnson Sakaja and Bishop Margaret Wanjiru. Wanjiru seeding ground to vie for the Nairobi Senator, while Sakaja will run for the Nairobi Governor. We are very happy as the, as the Kenya Kwanza team that we will now hit the ground running from tomorrow because we now have a team that will spearhead the Kenya Kwanza UDA campaign in Nairobi City. In the Azimio coalition, Nairobi is a crowded race. On one hand, Westland's MP Tim Wanyonyi is seeking to run for governor on an ODM ticket. On the other hand, Jubilee is presenting a full house with businessman Richard Ngatia, businesswoman Agnes Kagure, Nairobi Governor Ann Kananu, and former Nairobi Deputy Governor Polika Pigade, all aiming for the coveted Jubilee ticket for governor. This presents a headache for Azimio presidential flag bearer Odinga, who has to keep all the balls in the air if to win the race for the capital city. <laughs> DP Ruto, on the other hand, is navigating a landmine in Kiambu County. The race for governor brings together former Governor Ferdinand Waititu, Thika MP Patrick Kimani Wanaina Jungle, and Kiambu Senator Kimani Wamatangi in an epic scrum for the UDA party ticket. Besides the UDA internal race, DP Ruto faces another headache in Chama Chakazi party leader Moses Kuria and Jibebe party leader William Kavogo, who have complicated the Kiambu gubernatorial primaries after joining Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. In a county that he seeks to win, DP Ruto has a careful balancing act to perform in Kiambu. Back in Azimio and in Mombasa, there is a standoff on which model of nominations to be used to pick the ODM candidate. While Muvita MP Abdul Swamad Sharif Nasir is inclined towards the party-sanctioned opinion polls, businessman Suleiman Shabal has rejected such move describing it as an infringement on democracy. Mombasa County considered ODM political stronghold that Odinga cannot afford to gamble with. We do not believe that nominations should be done by selection in boardrooms based on opinion polls that nobody can verify or validate. Let the people decide. Already ODM is facing a backlash in Homa Bay after the party negotiated to have Homa Bay woman representative Gladys Swanga carry the party's flag for governorship. Jolted by the move, former Nairobi Governor Evans Kidero will battle Wanga as an independent candidate. And so Indos they stayed on Monday, as they probably will for most of the week, as the reality of party nominations hits Raylo Dinga and William Ruto. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.